Okay. Uh, thank. Uh, welcome again. Uh, this is going to be the uh, last talk on this uh, session in Puerto Madryn. Now we have Martí, Martí Pericay from Geomatico. He's a GIS developer and analyst. Uh, in uh, 2015, he joined Geomatico to work on web project development and training in open source geospatial technologies. Um, and he is going to talk about a different corona, this one, this time the one you know about, uh, unfortunately. So very interesting to learn more about this going viral in the pandemic. You want to share your screen? Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Jorge. So my name is Martí Pericay from Geomatico. Um, there's Oscar Fons, our CTO, somewhere in the room also. I'll do the talk, but uh, he might answer some questions later. Okay, so thank you all for being here. Um, Geomatico is a small Spanish company specialized in analysis and publication of uh, geographic information. And we usually make technical talks. So this will be totally a new experience for us. Um, it's more a light speech about a beautiful adventure or a tale, a uh, tale of success in the pandemic. So perfect for the last beach before lunch. <laughs> Um, we have always worked uh, with a traditional GIS stack, uh, OpenLayers, GeoServer, PostGIS, SDIs, now of course vector tiles also. And we've developed solutions for many years in many fields. Here I just highlighted mobility and environmental, but there are many more agriculture, public transportation, harbors, and satellite analysis also. And to finish for a fast presentation of who we are, a list of some of our clients, uh, majority from Spain, but some from Europe or Australia. And uh, what do we do for them? Uh, we call it uh, tailored suits, like um, we offer custom solutions to complex geographical problems that, that don't fit into a standard product. Uh, that's what we generally do. Okay, so let's start with the tale. Let's start with the adventure. Let's make a flashback to April 2020. Mm, I think you all remember. In Spain, it was a complete lockdown, um, hard times. You you only allowed um, you were only allowed to go uh, to buy food, to go outside to buy food for emergencies. Uh, well, uh, you know about that. And we all look like this in our homes, uh, except that we always look like this in Geomatico because we work remotely since a long time ago. Uh, but those were times of fear and of stress, uh, but also of great solidarity and good intention, like everybody wanted to help, to help others. So what can we do to help? There were already many projects, some of them very popular. I remember those charts um, for the countries, for dead people, infected people, and uh, Italy's first, now Spain's first, uh, a bit tragic, but, but they were useful. Or ambitious projects like uh, a friend of mine did a project to detect COVID-19 in, in the excrements of, of people from the water collected in the sewers. Uh, to try to prevent outbreaks. So what can we do from, from Geomatico? Let's think about something. Spain had a, a very painful first wave. Many, many dead people. Uh, people were not allowed even to make sport and kids were getting crazy. And, and parents with kids uh, were getting crazier. <laughs> so after almost, almost two months of lockdown, uh, the government decided that they were allowed outside with adults, but only one kilometer away from their homes. So big happiness for everyone, but of course, um, how far is one kilometer? Uh, the average person cannot calculate that. That's a GIS question, a very simple one, but a GIS question. So many GIS friends were already calculating their kind of kilometer. They took a QG, it's a buffer of one kilometer, and they printed their map, whatever. But what can we do for, for, for people, for people not GIS experts? 
Uh, well, in, in Geomatico, the same day the new law was announced, uh, Micho, Micho Garcia had uh, the idea to build a website and to call it simply, how far is one kilometer uh, to solve this problem? Uh, okay, so how to build it? The challenge is to show a one kilometer circle, shouldn't be a big deal. Usually we develop advanced solutions, so we thought about some complicated applications, but in the end it was clear that we needed something very simple uh, and that we can code uh, very fast. Like we did the simplest approach possible uh, because everybody must use it. So go find your home and click. And that's all. And you get your one kilometer radius and the kids will, 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 will be able to travel inside the circle, so very simple to use. We coded that in two hours, so that it could be deployed the same afternoon. The president announced the law. It's still live at this one kilometer.geomatico.s, but I don't know, maybe if you want to calculate what kilometer for one kilometer for some reason, <laughs> you can use it, but <laughs> it's not used anymore, and we hope we, we won't use it anymore for lockdowns. Okay, we wanted to be easy to use, beautiful, deployed very fast. Uh, we and the tool that everybody, everyone needed in the right time. So, uh, as a technology, we use Mapbox GL as a JavaScript library and, and Turf. Uh, this this is the one line of Turf to make the magic. So, just a circle of one kilometer. That's all. An important thing, uh, we used Mapbox base maps because we they had a free tire of 50,000 map loads, so this would have to be largely enough for what we expected. Ah, and there's the, the, the GitHub repository uh, down uh, with a mid license if you're interested. Okay, let's start with the spreading. We finished the application, we deploy it in GitHub pages, we make one tweet. We don't have, we have, uh, I think, a thousand followers, so not that much. And, and, uh, and we put a dozen mes WhatsApp messages to friends. Um, we hope that um, our friends would put this, this, our link into the WhatsApp parents' groups from schools, for, you know, so, and then it would be possible that they will be retweeted. So, we went to bed, it's eight o'clock at night and we went to bed and in the morning at 10 a.m. we had 10,000 visitors. So from 10 messages to 10,000 visitors. We were happy but, but a, bit, a bit shocked. We went to analytics to see the sources and it's what, 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 what we thought but much faster, I mean, uh, you can see 80% is direct, so from WhatsApp, uh, uh, it, it, it clearly went viral on WhatsApp. Um, these stats are not the, the stats of the first night, these are the stats of the whole uh, two weekends that it was, it was, the law was enforced. Uh, but at that moment, it was like 95% uh, WhatsApp, so it was almost everything WhatsApp and some social media. So parents sending and resending the link. Uh, so we were very happy. But uh, three hours later, we have 20,000 visitors per hour. So the famous exponential growth. Keep calm. It was funny because all the newspapers then were trying to explain exponential growth to, to citizens, if you remember. Uh, stay home because if you spread the virus to 10 people, blah, blah, blah. We, we went viral in, in the pandemic. So, uh, okay, so what to do, what to do? Uh, back to problems, we, we're running out of base maps. You remember we have 50,000, we're almost done. Uh, we need something to do. Uh, we run out of the free tire, so let's pay, pay map, pay map box. We took $400, we thought, okay, it's also some publicity for Geomatico, so we can spend $400. They immediately disappeared, like flushed in the toilet, uh, and, and, and we were running out of cash completely. That, it was insane, we couldn't do that, okay? So keep calm and think of alternatives. Do-it-yourself base maps. 
well, we don't have time. We don't have time. Put some ads to pay Mapbox. Uh, well, the idea was a non-profit application, so not possible as well. Another, another alternative. Uh, Mapbox posted a few days before that they were supporting COVID-related applications. Uh, so we decided to email Eric Gunderson, the CEO of Mapbox, uh, for a Mapbox Unlimited account. But of course, when it's noon in Spain, it's 5 a.m. in America. So Eric Gunderson is sleeping. And we got thousands and thousands of simultaneous requests. We need to do something, keep calm. What can we do? What can we do? Finally, uh, we got a solution. The, 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 the open source community pointed out to the right direction. Uh, a free and unlimited tile service from the Catalan Cartographic and Geologic Institute. Uh, so thank you uh, to the Institute Cartographic, to RAF, to Jane Kietz, and all the awesome Spanish uh, Phosphor G community. They helped us a lot. And okay, it was on, so we could relax. Uh, well, relax a little bit because the media were calling. We were on almost all Spanish media uh, at some point. Uh, some 10% of the traffic came from re referrals, as, as we've seen before, the news links. And well, and some of the media were very nice. They put our name like in big letters. Uh, some of them were not so nice. Uh, we'll see that uh, later on. But suddenly uh, we were in trouble again. The traffic continued to grow. It continued and continued to grow. Uh, we had 4 million visitors the first weekend. So the, the servers were burning. I mean, it was growing and growing and growing. So uh, we decided that we must, we must cache them. Only solution. Uh, we cached the, the uh, uh, cartographic tiles with, uh, uh, with Amazon CloudFront, uh, which is very, very scalable and uh, affordable. That's what we needed also so that we were able to resist uh, all the traffic and, and make the servers uh, relax. And, and it worked, it worked uh, very well. Here you can see the, the bytes transferred. I mean, it's every hour, it's like uh, 100, more than 150 gigabytes, which is the, maybe usually the monthly maximum of a, of a normal hosting maybe. So it worked well, it worked well. And um, two days later, Map, uh, Mapbox agreed on a super free account. So we finally, we decided to put uh, Mapbox. Uh, so thank you also to Mapbox. Um, and it worked, it worked well, but we hit uh, some hard limits also uh, on Mapbox servers. So too many concurrent ge geocodings, even for Mapbox, they also had to work and change some limits, some, some parameters for, for these massive uh, uh, concurrent users. We, we, we had 8 million users in, in two weekends. Uh, you can see the first weekend and, and the second weekend even more. Okay, that's it. Uh, the adventure is over. Um, some final considerations, uh, some anecdotes maybe. Uh, well, I will start complaining a little bit. Uh, for example, La Sexta, which is one of the biggest TVs in Spain, they put an iframe in their web page and they encrusted our, our application. Mm, I don't know. I, I, maybe it's legal. I don't know, but I, I didn't like that. Or once, we, 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 one time, a girl contacted us. I have a blog called uh, Pienciolo Actuo, which is, uh, I think, therefore I act. I, I would be very happy if I could put your 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 application in my in my webs in my blog, and and we said, of course you can. And then they showed this in El Hormiguero, which is the main late show in Spain, 
but presented with a sponsor like Yoigo uh, sponsors this section so we didn't sponsorize our app to not to make profit we didn't get any money but El Hormiguero got sponsored by by these presentations I don't know maybe it's legal as well but I don't know I found it ugly okay complaints from people uh, we got hundreds of tweets and mails that that we couldn't answer almost uh, and uh, like always, it's mainly complaints. Uh, a lot of people concerned for, for, for their privacy. Uh, I mean, if it's a free application, they thought if it's free, they are using our data for whatever reasons. And, and so we, we, we received a lot of, of mails complaining of and, 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 and asking for privacy policy, privacy settings, blah, blah, blah. Ah, and other funny people were the, the ones who, who instead of clicking, uh, went to find our mail and emailed us uh, asking, uh, sending uh, their street and their number, like I live in the street uh, this and with the number that, and please calculate my kilometer. That. Okay, compliments, compliments to, to end the, the talk. Uh, there were many, many compliments. I posted in virtual all Spanish media, press, TV, in social media, many public organizations from the smallest, uh, the, the local police, for instance, or uh, to virtually all political parties also, like from left to right. Um, even some famous people like uh, posted about us, like uh, Alejandro Sanz. Uh, sorry, I don't have the, I don't have the, the, the image, but, but believe me. And also some controversial people uh, also posted about us, like the president of Venezuela, uh, Nicolás Maduro. And why? Why would he do that? Um, it's because they used it in, in Venezuela. Um, the one kilometer became popular in, in Spain, but it was a world map, so it, it could be used anywhere. Uh, and when Venezuela uh, made an, an identical law one week later, uh, the one kilometer, they thought they could use our app uh, as the official way to calculate the kilometer. The kilometer. So they, they promoted us uh, in, in Venezuela. Uh, and and uh, it was a complete surprise. And uh, let's finish uh, if, if we have time. I think we have. It's a very short video. Uh, with probably the most uh, awkward moment of all, uh, when the vice president of Venezuela uh, makes a tutorial on how to use our app on, on prime time on, on TV. Uh, Okay, enough. Um, I know it's very weird to finish like that, but uh, I feel like after 15 years of politicians ignoring amazing GIS applications we've done, um, it's a fair compensation that the vice president uh, makes a presentation of our simplest web map ever <laughs> and on prime time and on TV. So as a conclusion, uh, also I would say for the whole uh, experience, I would say that, uh, well, uh, we should try to make useful things and, and not only complex things. Uh, so thank you. And Yeah, thank you very much, Martin. That was a very nice presentation. Um, thank you. Yeah, as, as you were mentioning, uh, we don't have questions for the audience, so I can maybe uh, digress a little bit um, until they, they come. Um, it's, it's funny that uh, yeah, the simplest uh, tool can be the most useful, and that's a very, 
it's a, a recurring re lesson that we learn uh, that we try to build very complex user interfaces and then nobody uses them because uh, it, they are not for the uh, the usual uh, people. Uh, but yeah, um, probably you didn't know what you were doing when you were creating a tool that does these very deep Zoom levels uh, because that's the hardest thing to serve as probably the people from McTyler in the room can uh, can also uh, uh, attest. Um, also, maybe you can disallow next time iframes, uh -huh. <laughs> or at least from those okay. from very specific referrers, and uh, maybe you can redirect them to some landing page or something like that. That's something that they do. Media do this all the time because they are experts in serving large scale, but then they are doing this kind of, I understand that this is was probably because uh, at lockdown, everyone was busy, everyone was super, uh, yeah, uh, stressed, and they did just what they uh, saw fit. We, uh, we, we didn't have time to, to make these things, uh, Jorge. We, we were just like... Uh, <laughs> no, I'm talking about, about those guys, not you. Uh, ah, okay. cre okay. Creating the iframe instead of maybe calling you and, and giving you yeah. some money to, to maintain the site instead of killing you with, with requests. Oh, no, no, <laughs> no. Nobody offered money. <laughs> Okay, um, I don't know if there are no more questions. Um, um, yeah, uh, thank you very much, Marti, uh, and Oscar, and, and the rest of the Geomatico people. Um, and I think with this, we can uh, close this session. Uh, thank you, everyone who attended, and enjoy the rest of the conference, and see you around. Bye-bye.